Hi everybody, it is 8.21am on the morning of the 28th of August 2021. The Icarus pre-order beta went live um, a few uh, few hours ago, uh, but I, would, I think it was about 1 o'clock UK time. I've installed it and here we go. So Icarus, the new game from Dean Hall. One of the uh, main creators behind Daisy, or the Daisy mod, which became Daisy Standalone. Um, this is his new survival game. Um, let's dive in. All I've been, I've just been into the settings. Um, now, first off, actually, I do have to say, I'm playing this on my Shadow Cloud Gaming PC. So I'm playing it on a really old app laptop, um, and it streams the game from the Shadow servers. Um, I'm playing it on extreme graphics, so we might have to turn it down. The problem is often my audio that you're hearing now. Sometimes this will start to break up because we don't have brilliant internet around here. So I do apologize for that in advance. Okay, character creator. Looks like a fine fellow. Scars. Oh dear. No, I don't think we give him any. A tattoo. A camo tattoo. How about a camo tattoo like that? All these these colours are they? Oh, is this is kit you can wear. I think you'd wear something bright, wouldn't you? That's like a original astronaut outfit. Uh, a bit. bit of a weather beaten. Actually, no, he'll have been in space for a while, won't he? He'll look pretty pale. <laughs> Oh, is that the Rocket Works logo? Let's have that. That's oh, I like that. Yeah. In fact, I tell you what. Let's go back to. That's more of a spacesuit style, isn't it? Okay, character name. Scale speeder. Confirm character. play the game prospects up so we've just got prospects so I understand in this beta oh inventory we've just got the first cohort and lots of stuff is disabled originally Icarus was meant to be out by now um, I'll begin hosting but they've delayed it claim prospect yes right here we go so the idea of this game is that Icarus the planet has been terraformed, but it's gone wrong. So it's not... Humans can't survive on Icarus without breathing gear. Um, however, however, what they have discovered, there's these exotic materials there which are worth money. So the poor, if you like, the down on their luck, the downtrodden, have got nothing left to lose, use all their money to, to get to Icarus. So they use everything to get a flight to Icarus and get down onto the... Um, get down onto the planet and then they prospect and so that's why you're a spaceman with a stone axe that's why you're a spaceman with a bow and arrow okay so you've got to kind of get past that bit you've, you've used everything to get here you've got no money left you've just got enough money to you know to buy your crappy old spacesuit get down on the planet and start trying to survive to try to find stuff and what each mission am i going to be doing something here is it loading hopefully it's loading each mission uh, has as a predetermined amount of time so that might be a couple of minutes i'm oh, sorry a couple of hours might be a few days whatever but as soon as the mission time's over you've got to get back to the launch craft to get back to the space station so then i guess you can sell your prospects sell your exotic gear sell the other stuff and then um crack on with um with buying upgrades to the stuff so that when you go back to the planet on the next mission 
you can you know you can do better and there's these different biomes so this is the forest biome we're going to be visiting which is the most earth-like one and then as it goes on i guess we're going to get to the bits where it's not earth-like where we have uh, instead of having bears and and animals that look like they're from earth we're going to be having you know more nasty things so i guess it's setting up the server right now there we go as i say i've set this up on um we're on extreme graphics Ooh. Guess we're on the way down. Here we go. Stepping onto the planet for the first time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the graphics down a bit because it's a little bit jerky. See if we can. Settings. Uh, display. Oh, maybe you can't do it when you're in-game. Okay, no worries. Oxide deposit. Yes, please. Not quite sure why I want it yet, but I will have to watch some tutorials or plant. Look at that view. It's like we're in, we're in Yosemite National Park. Berry bush, harvest for berries. Well, it all looks very, very pretty, doesn't it? Harvest for medicinal resources. Harvest for medicinal resources. Okay, so we need an axe. Okay, so we've got some sticks. Presumably, let's get some more. Sticks are always good, aren't they? Pressing green hell. Let's just carry on looking around. Oh, look. There's something in the water. There's a few things in the water. Oh! Oh, I guess that's a bear. <laughs> Let's get out of it. Let's get in the water. Let's get away from him. Oh, he's followed me. <laughs> Let's have a look at the map. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, we got killed by a bear. All right, okay. Straight away. Welcome to Livonia. <laughs> right, let's see what happens when we respawn then. Hold to respawn F. Are you sure you want to respawn? Any equipment on a character we lost any week? Yeah, uh, yeah, because... Would you like to respawn at a random location? No bed found. All oh, right, okay. Okay, so this must be... So, All right, so we're coming from the space station down again. Okay. This lake looks a little bit familiar. Does that mean this bloody bear's still around here? I jumped off there, didn't I? Oh, the mission time at the top. 20 hours, 23 minutes. Oh, right, okay. So you've got quite a long time. I think it's... I think it might be... It, so they say it's session-based. There's the fish. <laughs> How cool is that? How cool is that? Oh, I want to get stuck into building things, building a base. Oh, well, Mr. Hall, I think you've... Um, You've definitely made a pretty game. It's definitely a nice environment. It's definitely sucked me in. I'm definitely thinking, yeah, I want to I wanna crack on. I want to do my PvE stuff. This looks really nice. I don't know how well this could be coming across in the video. And again, I apologise if the audio quality is crap. Oh, a stone. Right, yeah, that's what we want. Oh, there's lots of stones. Definitely a um, bit of rust influence here. Right, so if we've got a stone, we get some sticks. Presumably, if we go into our inventory, how do we get into inventory? I, do you reckon? I, right, here we go. Stone. Can we combine sticks? I have no idea how to do anything. Oh, crafting. Here we go. Crafting. Recipes. Oh, there you go. Oh, brilliant. So, to make a stone pickaxe, I need two fibre, four sticks, and six stone. So, do I click on that? Oh, oh look. Yes, very nice. So, what is very, very exciting about this is that that is that's basically how rust do it. Nice and easy. You know, it gives you blueprints in effect or recipes of how to do stuff, um, and you you just need to collect stuff. Now, I know you know the because Daisy's great, but you do have to learn how to do things, don't you? But I do appreciate it when they show you how to make the basic stuff. So now we've got an axe. Which means we can cut down bigger stuff and we can now, yeah, I kind of, we can probably have a crack at that. What's that? Is that. They like going to the water, the animals here, don't they? I can defend myself. Let's have, can we cut down a tree, can we? Oh, is my axe broken? I'm, oh, that bloody... Oi! I'm going to attack by a Tasmanian devil. Oh, there's third person view. Okay, that was that was under C. We might have to change this. Snow wolf car carcass. Hold F to carry. How do we drop it? Oh, 
place. I'll drop item Q. Can we uh, chop him up, can we? One. I don't think it's doing anything. Can I? Oh. Right, this tree that I was knocking down. I don't seem to be doing much damage to it. Maybe this tree's a bit big. Let's see if we can find a smaller tree. Let's get some more sticks. Okay, so in the bottom left-hand corner... Oh, I'm bleeding by the look of it. Oh, that's not good. Okay. That's not good. I can probably make bandages, can't I? Right, let's go into the inventory. Crafting. Recipes, structures, consumables, all. Oh, or maybe you can only, oh, maybe it only shows you the blueprints of the stuff that you can. Ah, make when you've got the stuff. Because you would have thought it would be bandage, wouldn't you? Okay. More options. Fiber. Reed flower. Tech tree. Alright, oh, okay, so this is the stuff that you can make so far. Wooden spear, stone knife, replica, repair hammer, water bomb. Basic bandage. Required elements. 40 fibre. Right, okay, so we need lots of fibre to make a bandage. Okay, we've definitely... We've definitely got very light rain. Okay, so we can definitely make a bandage now, can't we? Crafting. Required elements crafted at character. Oh, have I got to get to tier one first, have I? Then? All right, so it looks like I've got to make a wooden spear or stone knife. Then I can unlock making a bandage. Okay. Oh, hello. Some some deer swimming. <laughs> well known as uh, very, uh, they very much enjoy swimming. Uh, red deer, uh, or, or uh, over there. Oh, it's raining. This isn't good. Let's get underneath the cover. Okay, so. Inventory crafting all stone axe. She's made one of, haven't we? Stone pickaxe. We haven't got one of them yet, have we? So we need to get some more stones. Storm exposure. All oh, right, okay. I guess I'm getting. Uh 
Oh, the stick. Like sticks, like stones. Let's have a look at the map. Where's my... Okay, so... There's my spaceship over there. So maybe we should head on over to my spaceship. Collecting stuff as we go. Uh-oh. So... My spaceship should be in front of me. This looks brilliant, doesn't it? There it is, I can see it. So can we get back inside our ship for shelter? How do I get the only way in anyway? Press F to interact. Are you ready to leave the service? No, I just want to get inside the ship, please. Because <laughs> it looks warmer than it does out here. Can I get inside? Press F to interact. Okay, alright, okay. So you can't get back inside. You can't use your ship as... Um okay, so I should have made a... Probably made a little... Um base or something to start off with. Okay, so before we die though, let's um All oh, right, the bandage is available now. Click to unlock. Okay, so now we've got crafting let's make a bandage, craft a bandage. Okay. So now we've got a bandage. Consume. Hey, we're not bleeding anymore. <laughs> right, so I wonder what... So what? Oh, because I'm tier one now. Okay, so if I make a campfire, then I can unlock these things. Can we get on these rocks? We can. Blech. So, I think probably this has been um, an excellent... For, in fact, let's take a screenshot of that. That looks pretty cool, that. Uh, control F1. This has been... A very positive experience. I am very pleased with the way the game looks. I'm loving the crafting system. Um, <laughs> it's nowhere near as convoluted as Daisy. This environment looks absolutely cool. It's giving me some amazing PVE vibes. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to play some more of this. So, um, what do you think? Remember, the really cool thing about Icarus is that it's it's twenty quid to buy on Steam. All right, for your PC. But what they said is, right up until the point of release, if you just play it and you don't like it, you're playing the beta weekends. Basically, every weekend they're going to be having a beta. If you don't like it, you can just have a full refund. No matter how long you've played it in the betas, as long as you get the refund before the full release in December, I think it is, you can get a refund. So basically, you can try it with no risk involved. But I think if you like DayZ, if you like Rust, if you like Scum, I mean, geez, this looks... Um, <laughs> looks fantastic, doesn't it? Anyway, I'll stop rambling. What do you think? Put your questions and comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.